so funny. No way I'm coming back. What's funny? Yeah, you have nothing else to rely on. Well, who do you think you were talking to? That's my line. Who do you think you are talking to? Michelle is 26 years old. She is a housewife. Michelle is not very bright. She knew it since she was a young child. At school, she was the slowest. One time, her parents suggested that she start going to the clam school. However, she could not understand anything there, so she started to go to the park instead. At one point, the clam school told her parents about her absence, and her parents made her quit. That moment, Michelle thought that nothing mattered to her. She started to hang out with outlaw friends. When she was in junior high school, she would go to convenience stores with her friends, who have bad influences and smoke and drink. After her parents were asleep, she would sneak out of her parents and go out. She would be sleeping during the class. She made it into high school somehow, but she barely went. She had a big fight with her parents and ended up quitting. She left her parents to live by herself while sustaining her life with part-time jobs. By experiencing that, she is now finally understood how much she was being supported by her parents. She started to study again and got into university. She sent a letter to her parents about her recent life without writing down her address. There were a lot of people she met at her university. She learned a lot about other people. After finishing university, she got a job. She met David there. David was Michelle's trainer at work. At one point, David started to ask her out and after dating for three years, he proposed to her. He asked her to quit the job and become a housewife. Michelle was so stoked. Michelle just couldn't inform her parents because she was afraid of rejection. After Michelle and David got married, Michelle moved into David's parents' house. Michelle really wanted a family and she didn't have any bad impression against them so she was okay with it. However, now she really regrets it. Hey Michelle, you're so slow. You have to clean the pot, then work on the yard after this. Hey, I'm asking for tea. How long are you taking it? Hey, I want bread for breakfast. Well, I want rice. You have to make rice for me. Michelle didn't want to be kicked out, so she will be listening to their demands, which only made them escalate. Michelle, give me a massage. That's good idea. I'm next. Okay, me after that. Michelle had to give them massage 30 minutes each, right after that they demanded dessert, so Michelle had to go buy some. She felt like she was a housewife. She started to question her way of being treated. She started to put less effort in it, and they would be complaining about it. Hey, how many times do I have to tell you when you see my glass M, you got to pour beer in it? David banged a table with his beer glass. The glass shattered. Oh no, it's broken. Hey Michelle, clean it up. Wonder when you're going to learn. Michelle thought that they are crazy. She wanted to leave but she didn't know where to go. But she thought that she would go crazy if she stayed. So she stormed off from the house. Where's she going? Leave her alone. She has nowhere to go. She's going to come back. Michelle came to her parents' place. It's been 10 years. She rang the doorbell. Michelle? Mom. Michelle couldn't stop crying when she saw her mother. Her mother led her into their place. Welcome back, Michelle. Michelle was so happy to find out that her parents didn't hate her. It was awkward at the beginning, but Michelle explained what happened to her life ever since she left them. Both of the parents said they were proud of her. They were happy to get the better from her. They got really mad about David and his family. They suggested her to divorce. Hours later, Michelle got a call from David. Where are you? I'm back at my parents. I'm never going to come back to you guys. Please divorce me. No way. I'm coming to get you. It's a good opportunity to meet. Let him come to us. Few days later, David and David's parents came visit Michelle's parents. They were so mad. They were shouting and blaming Michelle. I'm not changing my mind about divorce. 
David angrily signed on the paper to divorce. Michelle was so happy to be free. Five years passed. Many things happened during that. That day, Michelle was relaxing at her parents' place. Someone buzzed. Michelle wasn't sure if she heard it right. A person buzzed again. Michelle went to open the door. Sorry for waiting. What? Michelle found David and his parents standing there. Wait, what? Hey, did you change your mind? You had plenty of time to calm down. We will forgive you now so you can come back. What are you saying? Michelle's father heard Michelle shouting and came down. David smirks. I know you miss us. We're going to let you back to us. We need your help so let's talk. Michelle started to laugh hysterically. That's so funny. No way I'm coming back. What's funny? Yeah, you have nothing else to rely on. Well, who do you think you were talking to? That's my line. Who do you think you are talking to? Michelle changed a lot during these five years. She is now confident like the time when she was young. Huh. Who do you think you are talking to son of the bitch? David was shocked by Michelle's attitude. Michelle's mother appeared. Hey Michelle, be quiet. Baby's going to be up. Michelle picked up the baby from her mother's arm. Oops, my bad. Wait, the baby... What? You know, I remarried and now have a baby. I'm not going to go back to you. No way. David kicked some flower pots near the door with anger. Michelle rushed back into the house. David was trying to get in but Michelle's father prevented it. Next moment, David screamed. Ouch! James! James is Michelle's husband. He just came back from his work. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let me go! Let my son go. I'm going to call the police. I'm the police. Michelle, who are they? Well, that's my ex-husband and they're a shitty family. They came to ask me to come back and kick some flower pots and damage. Hey, you don't have to tell them that information. That is red flagging. I am going to call my co-workers. Shortly, police car arrived and took David into their family. Because they got arrested, all of them got fired from their work. Later on, Michelle figured out that the reason David and his family came was because their grandma needed to be in the care home, yet they wanted to save money, so they came to recruit Michelle. Michelle met James through a friend from university. There was an old lady who she really hit well. At one point, that old lady asked Michelle to meet her nephew who was James.